This ain't nice. I know. Hello? Is Armadillo 731? What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Ballard twins and a couple of Mexicans. Are they up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so... Yes, sir, right now? That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. It'd be my pleasure. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight lip son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. Ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty person last time, if I remember correctly. Simmer down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. Be honest with you, Marston. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouth city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Yeah, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash came in the wild land. We're nearly there. Keep your eyes out for the ballers. Leave the horses here. 
Sure, follow me. Up the canyon towards the fort. Be ready, boys. We're probably going to be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. handing out medals just yet. There's a bridge up ahead. The rustlers are probably guarding it. So, all them damn wrestlers look the same to me, though. intersect with ours right up here. I hope he's all right. I should have gone with him. He'll be fine. He prefers working alone. Always has. He doesn't let us do nothing if he can do it himself. Stubborn old goat. Sensible old goat. I saved your sorry hide more than once back there, Marston. I'll kill the hell out of you. I'm the one to follow. I say you, I guess it's too late to talk about things!
goddamn law. This looks as good a spot as any. Gather around and listen up. Let's get as close as we can before opening fire. Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. But one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was doing town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli.
Excuse me. 